Hi, everyone. I'm Bonita. Hello. I'm here with Mariam. We are on day 12 of our 33 days of manifestation. And uh, yesterday we spoke a bit about, I introduced Pendulum, but then we did something else because yesterday uh, I was not in the mental state to play with pendulums, but today, yay! yay. <laughs> so I personally love pendulum work and there are so many ways, like pendulum, just like Ouija board or a crystal bowl or like any of these things, it's just a tool. There's nothing like, it will never become possessed or invite demons or like whatever. It's just a tool for connection. What you connect with is up to you. You know, there's, if you are like very, very pure with your intention, then you will connect with something pure. That's it. You know, if you're in a really bad mood, then you probably don't want to open up to connect with anyone other than like those who can help raise your frequency and make you feel good. So I just mentioned this because there's a lot of people who are afraid of things like pendulums and Ouija boards and you know, like, they're just tools, the same as, as a chef, you know, I use things that can cut you and things that can burn you. Yeah, that can be scary, but if you use them the right way, then you get beautiful food that tastes good and smells good and looks beautiful and yummy and fabulous. You don't get cut and burnt eh, too much. Uh, Feeling hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I so, might want to manifest some good lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my uh, medicine pouch, my medicine bag. Um, That's pretty. Yeah, I keep my pendulum in here. I actually have several pendulums that I keep in here. Um, this is actually from Ama. This was made from her blessed clothing and it was blessed by her. How so, beautiful. yeah, yeah. And those of you who don't know who Ama is, look her up. She is the hugging saint. She is a miracle on our planet. She really so, is. Yeah, so... If you have something that you want it to be like with very pure energy, find something very pure for it to live in. You know, there's nothing more pure and blessed than something blessed by Ama. So this is a pendulum. Can I, can I actually- I add something? Can I add something? Yeah. In regards to um, something sacred to put it in. I think that's worthy of uh, emphasis because you can also bless the thing that you keep your stuff in. You can actually mm -hmm. bring in a blessing and um, do an invocation if you have to, you know, just put a prayer on it and bless it because mm -hmm. then it'll have that frequency. So sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, that's great. And I'll say, while this is my bag for pendulums, I do have a few things in here. I have... Um, this is some sacred tobacco and wishes and a crystal that was given to me by a shaman when we did a blessing ceremony together. And, oh, this was a dog treat from Lord Snaggletooth, whom I <laughs> miss very dearly. And, yeah, and a little selenite, whoops, I'm tossing my selenite around. A little selenite, this was from my sacred healing chamber when I had my wellness center. You know, and a few other things. I have some sacred ashes in here, um, you know, from, so anyway, a few other things. And then I have one pendulum that is just for me. When I'm doing pendulum work for myself, I have one pendulum I use that's staying in my pouch. This is the pendulum I use when I'm working uh, in ceremonies and with healing other people or healing the planet. I made this one. <laughs> it's a little crude it's looking. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's, uh, I've been working with it for many years. It's very uh, conductive. What is the, the, oh, don't ask, the don't ask about the stones. <laughs> I'll have to go to my written list somewhere in the bottom of my bag. It's got <laughs> all kinds, it's got rubies, amethyst, you know, all kinds of stones on it. <laughs> and this is a, uh, aquamarine um but it's for like full connection 
it's got stones representing all the elements, the chakras, oh, wow. earth, spirit, multi-dimensions, copper as a conduit. It's, you know, it's got Beautiful. dragon, dragon blood stone in it. Yeah. Beautiful. So when I do pendulum work, I hold it in a way where it's just like, I might hold it like this between my fingers or, you know, I'll wrap it in just, the point is I'm dangling it and I'm not like, Ooh, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of dangling it. Now, the point of working with a pendulum really is to get a connection. It does not matter to you what the answer of the pendulum will be. Because if it matters to you, then you're going to subconsciously affect it. So you want it to be not mattering. That's why you're asking the question, hey, I want to know. Um, and so you want to completely empty yourself out. Because what you, you're asking someone who knows more than you. What is the answer? If you're asking for help or for manifestation, you're asking those who are capable of helping you to come through and help. So you don't want to interfere. Like if you're going to do it yourself, you don't need to do this. You just go and do it. But if you want someone else to do it or to answer it or to flow to it or to attract it, you want to get out of the way and let those who are capable to flow through you fill the pendulum and send it out. Um, and you don't need a fancy pendulum. I've used my necklace as a pendulum. I've used keychains, you know, a rock on a string. Like you can use anything. You know, again, the point is just for connection and flow. There are charts that you can get where you ask the pendulum to swing in different directions to answer questions. I don't do that because uh, honestly, I don't want to carry a chart around with me and I'm super dyslexic. So I get left and right mixed up. It gets very confusing. A lot of times I'll just put the pendulum over my hand, um, which usually if I'm doing it for myself, it's down here for my comfort, but uh, I want you to see it. I put it over my hand. Every pendulum has its own natural language. And that language can even change from use to use. So when you first start with your pendulum, I'll tell you the technique. And then if any of you have a necklace with you or a stick and a string or a pendulum, feel welcome to, you know, go and get one and, and join in. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is like empty myself out and open myself up. And then I'm going to like connect with my pendulum. Like my pendulum is my friend. Remember, everything is alive. Everything has an aura. Everything has an essence. Everything is connected. Remember that. You may not believe that in your regular life, but when working with a pendulum, let that be your truth. So we're connecting and I'm friends with my pendulum. So... You know, I open up, I'm empty, I'm open, I connect with my pendulum, I talk with my pendulum, hello pendulum, it's so nice to see you again today, I look forward to our work together, and then I will say, pendulum, can you please show me your yes? Most of the time for people, I'm just going to swing it, yes is back and forth, and I'll say, thank you, can you please send to yourself a uh, Please show me your no. And most of the time for people, it's this way. And for most people, you know, that's natural because we do this for yes, this for no. Although in some countries, like when I lived in Greece as a child, this is yes and this is no. And it's a little more like head back and down as opposed to the nodding yes that we do. So, you know, we can't all assume that everyone is the same and every culture is the same. Um, and then I will say, pendulum, show me how you send loving energy out. And most of the time it'll swing in a circle clockwise. I'll say, show me how you send like clearing, cleansing energy out. And most of the time it'll swing that way. 
Now, it can be different. Sometimes the no will be a circle left and the cleansing will be just back and forth. You know, it's generally for me, positive is usually clockwise and back and forth and negative or releasing, clearing is counterclockwise and, you know, like a clock pendulum. So the first thing I want to do is connect with my pendulum. We communicate, and then I'll say, Pendulum, I have a desire. I have a desire in my heart that I would like you to help me manifest it. You can visualize in your mind or your heart what you desire. You can express it to the pendulum. And then ask, because it's you need to be polite. Can you help me with this? And the pendulum will always be like, yes, unless they're like, uh, that's not a bad idea. If they say no, stop and really chat with your pendulum. And then, uh, but most of the time they'll be excited about helping. And then, you know, the nice thing is communicating with your pendulum really gets you out of your headspace again, because we're, we become the open conduit and the pendulum will start working with us.